The House Intelligence Committee chairman, something else that was quite scary, not only for Kansas City, but for the rest of America. The chairman, Mike Turner, issued a dire warning this afternoon on what he called a, quote, serious national security threat. Quote, I'm requesting that President Biden declassify all information relating to this threat so that Congress, the administration, and our allies can openly discuss the actions necessary to respond to the threat. There's a lot of problems with that because our allies and their security services can discuss it if it's classified information, as can the administration, as can members of Congress, as certainly can members of the intelligence community. So why would he want it to classify? And it's very easy to think when you see that chairman of the Intelligence Committee and national security threat that World War III is around the corner. It's terrifying. A lot of people got scared that war was imminent. As we've gotten more reporting on this, it is probably what he is referring to, some type of new Russian space-based weapon. But it is not something they are going to use tomorrow. Democrats and Republicans have come out across the board and said, well, don't really worry that much. And now the attention is turned to Mike Turner. To understand how this is just not a partisan issue in Washington, this is now Mike Turner against all of Washington, here is the House Republican Speaker, Mike Johnson. I will press the administration to take appropriate action, and everybody can uh, be comforted by that. I saw Chairman Turner's statement on the issue, and I, I want to assure the American people there is no need for public alarm. All right, there's nothing more important than national security. It should be nonpartisan. And in Washington, the president is obviously commander in chief, but on Capitol Hill, there is what is called the bipartisan gang of eight. The chairman and ranking members of the House and Senate Intel Committees, plus the speaker and minority leader in the House and the majority and minority leaders in Senate, they get access essentially to the crown jewels, to America's most closely guarded secrets. They get far more information than is given to members of Congress, even in classified briefings. Turns out that Turner freelance totally. In fact, the National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, will brief the Gang of Eight tomorrow, but Turner came out even ahead of that. All I can tell you is that I'm focused on going to see him, sit with him, as well as the other House members of the Gang of Eight tomorrow, and I'm not in a position to say anything further from this podium at this time. All right. We've certainly been critical of Jake Sullivan on this show, of his policies, and, and really of his results, but he is rightfully angry. Turner scared a lot of people. It sounded like war was going to start tomorrow. Victoria Coates is here, former Deputy National Security Advisor to Trump. I almost don't know what to say about this. The idea of an intel chairman freelancing like this is kind of unthinkable. Leland, good to be with you. I was actually sort of hoping you were going to ask me about the Mona Lisa because this is a really difficult situation. Uh, agreed, it, it's alarming when you have the chairman of the House uh, Intel Committee come out and say something like this. And, you know, certainly we need to be concerned if there is some dramatically new Russian space-based system because, of course, they're sharing all of that with the Chinese, if not also with the Iranians. So that is a legitimate concern. But why today? And I have to say, I'm a little concerned that, you know, the chairman was very, very focused on the markup of 702 of the surveillance provisions in the Patriot Act, which are happening this afternoon, and wanted to maybe create a little bit of drama around that. And as you say, scare a whole lot of people in the course of it. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't quite understand. I mean, the idea of using American national security and calling for the declassification of something so the American people can see this, whatever this Russian weapon system might be, and potentially, potentially out American sources and methods on something in order to uh, be able to deal with a problem. There's a lot of national security threats that, that our national security officials deal with without declassifying everything. Let's, let's give Mike Turner the benefit of the doubt. Is there a reasonable explanation for freelancing in this way uh, clearly, the, the House Speaker didn't think it was necessary. Clearly, the minority leader in the Senate, a Republican, nor did the uh, ranking member, the Senate Intel Committee member, who's a Republican. So it's not partisan. Is there any explanation for freelancing like this? Well, not, not that we know. And, of course, I mean, there is always more that we don't know. So one wants to be cautious about that. And I, as I said, I think there's a lot of reason 
to be deeply concerned about Russian and Chinese and sure. No, that, that's no. We, that, we get that, that is, but yeah. that's but not. Why, I mean, I agree. Why today? Uh, and why are we getting it from the House Intel Committee? So I think they're just. This has just created so many questions. Uh, around how all of these committees are functioning. And it's also, quite frankly, uh, really a little frightening to have somebody like Chairman Turner so off the same page with the White House, regardless of who's president. You know, there are some issues that I, that aren't actually partisan in Washington. I know it's hard yeah. to believe these days, but it's true. And, you know, at least in the intel space, I would hope we could have some kind of uh, meeting of the minds. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.